Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the best TensorFlow tutorials in the entire freaking world. So I've been planning and structuring these videos for a while now. And the goal is for us to build a solid, solid foundation in TensorFlow so that after watching and going through these videos, you're ready to start doing your own cool projects. So what I expect is for you to know the basics of Python and preferably some math in linear algebra. And then knowing the theory behind deep learning is great. And you're going to have a much easier time understanding what we're actually doing. But if you don't, I'm going to write theoretical prerequisites and refer you to great resources where you can learn about the topics for each specific video. In this way, I'm able to completely focus on TensorFlow and the coding part and make these videos much more concise. All right, so with that said, guys, let's get started. And before we do anything, we need to install it. And uh, no joke, this might be uh, the most difficult part. The easiest way to get started is just using Google Colab. And there's going to be a link in the description. So using Colab, you don't have to install anything. So if it doesn't work for whatever reason, you can always use this for the time being. And it would look something like this, where you would have, so you would have cells where you can just import TensorFlow STF, and we can do something like print TensorFlow version, and you'll have the, the latest ten version of TensorFlow. Now, preferably you want to have it on your own PC, and I think I've found some pretty easy ways to install TensorFlow for the GPU and CPU, uh, depending on what you have, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way I know to set it up. So the first link we're gonna go to, and all of the links are gonna be in the description of the video. We're gonna scroll down and press download for Anaconda. Then we're gonna take this specific Anaconda installation for our PC. In my case, that's 64-bit Windows. And then the second page we're gonna go to is this uh, installation for PyCharm, which is the editor that I recommend. And we're gonna take the community version, uh, the free version, and we're gonna download that one. Now that you have both of them downloaded, we're gonna start with installing Anaconda. So let's run it as administrator. And we're basically just gonna have the default options and everything. So we're gonna press next, I agree, next, uh, next, and then install. And then when it's complete, we're gonna press next, next, and then, yeah, finish. All right, so then we're gonna open Anaconda. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create an environment. So basically Anaconda allows you to have multiple environments where you can have different packages uh, for each. So for example, let's say you wanted to have one version of Python and then another version. Uh, you could have different environments for both of those. Now that we want to create our environment, it's going to depend on if you, if you have a uh, CUDA enabled GPU or if you're going to run on the CPU. So what you can do is uh, you can go to this page here, CUDA enabled GeForce products, and you can see if you have the, um, the, the required compute capability on your graphics card. Then if you do have a CUDA enabled GPU, you're going to want to download the drivers for your graphics cards, uh, graphics card first. So, uh, if you're a gamer, you probably already have this, so you won't have to bother. But uh, it can make so. For example, let's say you have GeForce Experience and you have the latest drivers. You probably are you already have the NVIDIA drivers, so you don't have to do this. Uh, but uh, otherwise, it's on this page. So let's start with the option that you have a a GPU. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write conda create uh, hyphen hyphen name. We're gonna call it uh, TF for TensorFlow. And then we're gonna do space and we're gonna write TensorFlow uh, slash, uh, hyphen GPU, all right? We're gonna press enter. Now, what's great about the Conda installation is that if you look at the, the libraries it's gonna download, is you're gonna, it's gonna download the NVIDIA to CUDA toolkit and it's also going to download the CUDNN library, all right? So you, you don't have to bother about the, finding the specific versions to match and so on. And uh, it's also going to, so it's going to download everything you need. The only thing you have to do is just Y and then enter. And it's going to download everything you need. So 
So when that is done, we now have an environment where we can run TensorFlow on the GPU and all we had to do was run a single command to install it. So uh, the only con of doing it this way is that TensorFlow doesn't ship natively with Conda, meaning that uh, we're gonna be a few versions back. And in this case, the latest version is 2.3. We're now gonna have TensorFlow 2.1. Uh, but doing it this way saves us a lot of headache. If anyone from the TensorFlow team is watching this video, please consider shipping TensorFlow with Conda. PyTorch does it and it's super easy, easy to install and makes it a lot easier for us uh, users of TensorFlow. For the second option of installing TensorFlow on the CPU, we're gonna do conda create hyphen hyphen name tf, um, let's call it CPU. And then we gotta activate that environment. So we're gonna do conda activate TensorFlow CPU. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, do conda install pip. Now that we have pip, we can do pip install TensorFlow. The next step is now to install PyCharm. All we're gonna do is, is uh, press next, next. Uh, I'm gonna have, I want to have a shortcut and then I want to associate uh, Python files to open with PyCharm. And then next, install. and then run PyCharm. Uh, do not import settings, it's fine, okay. And then uh, this is fine. And then I'm gonna install Vim, uh, but if, you're not, if you don't know what Vim is, or if you don't use it, then don't install this. And then uh, start using PyCharm. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do, let's see, uh, we can create a new project and then we can do Py let's call it uh, our first project and then we're gonna go to existing interpreter here and we're gonna go to let's see uh, this dot 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 right here we're gonna go to conda environment and here you should now see your two environments so or if you just created one you should see uh, that environment so I'm gonna take the TF for that has the uh, GPU enabled and then we're going to press make available to all projects and I'm going to press OK. And then now we have that interpreter. I'm just going to do create. And now you should be able to do, uh, let's see, you should be able to do import TensorFlow as TF and we can do print TF version. and then we get TensorFlow version 2.1.0. Or if you're using the CPU, you should probably have the latest version. Now, let's say uh, for some reason that didn't work, I've seen some people have issue finding the Conda environment. You should be able to also go to settings and then you should be able to go to project, Python interpreter, and then here you should be able to press add right here and then Conda environment and then existing environment and then here you should be able to see uh, the interpreter. Uh, in this case, the TensorFlow CPU. And then you can do make available to all project. So that's if you don't find the Python interpreter. That's it for this video for setting up TensorFlow. If you have any problem with this, leave a comment and I will try my best to help you out. With that said, in the next video, we actually get started coding and I hope to see you there.